just picked up a new cart about to start a build on this thing this thing has got some wide tires too but yeah i was able to get this thing off of a uh, marketplace just picked it up for a combined total of like 325 and it gave me some extra parts i would need got a clutch and everything so i'm gonna have to get a chain for it and an engine but this is gonna be a sick build dudes really be like i got something big planned for this build and then they put some like custom valve stem caps on it and call it a day one step to it you know step at a time oh yeah oh y'all see the vision god damn it <laughs> you're so stupid i got the paint for the cart it's just about to look so nice it's gonna be so clean all right well the first part of restoring the go-kart has started with cleaning it and taking all the bits off and deciding what i'm gonna paint purple and then what i'm gonna do as the gold accents take this out gently Good, good bicep right there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's nice to take that out. All right, so we pretty much got it fully taped up, even though I realized I didn't have to do all of that if we were just going to paint it gold and then repaint over those spots. But it's fine anyway, because some parts that like I completely did not want to be painted like up here and all that. Also, I'm actually get the wheels out here and tape those up real quick and do the wheels. I got pretty much all of the uh, gold done. I need to touch up a few spots, but it's looking nice like wherever like we actually wanted the gold. I'm about to hit the wheels with some gold too, cause you know, gold wheels, gotta love them. Me. <laughs> All right, we're going. We're making it to the shed. The wheels are looking beautiful together, though. I mean, like, I know I don't put a huge ton of effort into stuff to make things look nice. Who would have thought the $4 gold spray paint would actually kind of have some nice look to it? Like, for real. That's, that's shocking. But anyway, I'm about to do the purple tomorrow because the uh, sun's down, so... Yep. Right, so day two of working on the uh, go-kart. And well, I forgot I had a whole bunch of brake clean that I could have really cleaned it off well with before painting it. Yeah, this stuff is so strong. It's taking away the gold spray paint that I put on from earlier. That's where I sprayed it at. So I got to make sure I don't get it on any of this fresh gold. Yeah, like, so what I'm doing is I'm spraying it in here. Like, so like this gold right here, I'm about to like rub it. It's gone. This one right here. Gone. It's hot as hell here, bro. I should probably stop inhaling these fumes before like I die. I'm kind of feeling the effects. I've never seen something just wipe off paint like that. Also, I'm putting shorts on. It's like 90 degrees out here. Got me dying in these Adidas pants. Can't be, I can't be doing all this, bro. So, Middle of working on the go kart. Oh, yeah, you want to do it? Oh, yeah, you want to do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm a smart man, Kurt. I'm going to kill myself. God damn it. How are you going to come over here and be like, hey, yo, let me do an oil change real quick? I mean, he just blows up my fucking bathroom. What a menace. I'm about to find this guy. Justin, what are you doing? Are you are you blowing up my bathroom? No, don't worry. <laughs> hey, here you go, bruh. 
Just in case that shit breaks, you you might live. You said it's tight? Yeah. Just like me? You turn it left, right? On God? You're supposed to turn the shit left, right? Yeah. He'd be like, there we go. This this is life saving right here. It's beautiful. Bro, you had a lot you had a lot more luck now that you were actually loosening it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was scared to put fucking pressure on it. Oh man, this is what I interrupt my go-kart with. Oh yeah, the smell of oil. God damn it, stop fucking coming everywhere. <laughs> Yo, well we finally got the go-kart um, completely taped up. We got all the all the gold stuff covered and all the stuff that we uh, don't want to actually paint, like these brakes and the brake housing over there. And of course, it's the steering wheel and all that. So now everything that is visible right now is gonna be that nice purple color. And also this over here, I got one thing taped on that, so. All right, so all the purple's on there. It's looking, it's looking pretty good, honestly. Oh, it's almost fully unwrapped, except it's so hot and humid outside. I like ripped off all the paint, so that's, that's pretty great. Bro, you know what this reminds me of, bro? Unwrapping gifts on Christmas. Except it's like awful because it's just ripping everything off please just don't rip every time i take this tape off i'm like please don't rip my paint bro i'm the real tears about to come out right now yo we finally got clouds in the sky it's cool out here you know honestly i don't mind how it looks i think that's i think that's pretty nice the paint may have peeled in some spots but that's somewhat okay This thing is looking good. Like it is really starting to come together. Now that I fixed a lot of like the steering and stuff and I actually put everything back together, this thing is looking straight slammed. Like I'm very, I'm very happy about how this came out, honestly. It's about to come together like really nice once it has an engine and all that. Beyond just aesthetic stuff though, this is gonna be like a real go-kart build like I'm getting all of this stuff for like a whole stage five build. About to drop a nice 374 on this thing. But I mean, yeah, so like a bunch of billet parts, valves, aggressive cam, chain, obviously I need a chain, better jet setup, um, better carburetor, spark plug, all that. I already got an air intake and an exhaust, so that's all gonna be fine, but yeah, nah. We about, we about to drop a fat amount on this.